Here's something a little different for you today, guys. Uh, you remember about a year or so ago, you seen a video where I had actually repaired this drive. This is, or it was, a matching set. And recently the other drive failed. And the only reason that I repaired the one from last year was simply because we could not get our hands on a drive. Uh, at that time we had placed an order for a replacement and here it is. And we recently got this in, we've got it hung and we are now ready to set it up and get this thing into service. Now, of course, it did require some reconfiguration as far as the electrical, but you know, the guys got it taken care of and we are now ready to get this going. Uh, the first thing that you're gonna need is your motor information, which I've already got the motor info off of this, and I don't have the power turned on to it yet. It's still shut off over on the breaker. Uh, but I'm just going to go through the process of checking everything and making sure that everything is what it needs to be. You want to verify your wiring, but uh, you know, there again, I know these electricians and they always do a great job. And we're going to verify our wiring, we're going to verify our voltages, then we're going to go in and actually set the drive up to do what it's supposed to do. Now that we have got everything verified as far as our wiring, we are ready to turn on power. I always step over to the side when I turn power on one of these and there's times to where I will actually just turn it on from the remote breaker. But right now let's go ahead, hit the switch and see if the drive lights. Okay, we can see that we do have the drive initializing. Of course we've got to go through and set up all of our parameters. Uh, the first thing that it's going to ask you when it powers up on one of the ABB 580s is the language. Of course for us it's going to be English. So I'm going to select that and it's going to go through a process of setting a few things up for us that there we're going to have to come back and do some other configuration as well. It has now brought us into the setup menu and what we are going to need to select is commission the drive. So we're going to highlight that using the arrow buttons and then hit next. The soft keys, if you want to know what they do, just look right above each of those keys on the display and it'll tell you what to do on an ABB drive. So we're going to select commission the drive and we are going to first select the type of standard that we have. That's international. We're going to change this to US standard just because that is what we use here in our neck of the woods. Uh, select that. I'm going to hit next and it's going to bring up some of the other things that it wants to do again each time you make some changes there's occasionally it's going to jump in and it's going to basically back up some of the things that you have selected this screen here basically is asking you the type of display values that you're going to want it's basically going to verify what you had selected previously you can see here that as far as power we're reading horsepower temperature is in Fahrenheit uh, torque is in foot-pounds and so on so this is correct as far as what we want now we're going to select next uh, it's going to give us the option for date and time I highly recommend that you set this to where it will display properly that way you will have a better understanding of when the particular times are that you could have had a fault or things like that if you need to adjust something I'm simply going to scroll down here to the time because this time is obviously off. It is currently in the morning. I'm going to then hit the right arrow, which is going to take me into the time to where I can adjust that. So I'm going to turn this down to a little bit closer as far as what it currently is in the time. And of course we need to make sure that we get it over to AM. So the way that we do that is we've got to run the hours all the way around. And once we have that selected, we just hit save and we can continue you can see here show date set we currently have the date correct so now we're going to select next it's going to ask us some of the configuration as far as the type of motor and things like that of course this is a single motor which is what we are going to select uh, the current rating for this motor is 112 our speed is 185 RPM and the voltage is 460, so all of that is good. So our next step is to spin the motor. We already know which direction that we need to go, but before we can do that, we've got to switch the drive from auto mode to hand mode. So that's what we're going to do here. Is I'm going to press the hand button and it's going to now indicate that it is in hand and we should be able to spin the motor. 
and you can see there it's giving us an identification that it should start rotating this so I'm going to hit next drive is running so let's go check our motor okay we can see our motor is running in the proper direction you can see the indication there on the arrows for this one and so we know that we are good to go now that we know that we are going in the right direction, one thing that you need to be aware of, if you have a drive that does have a bypass, you do not need to reverse the direction of it on the VFD. The reason for that is these come from the factory phased properly, so if you change the direction in the drive, if you ever go over to run the bypass, the motor will go in the opposite direction. So if you do have to reverse direction, make sure to change one of the leads on your motor. The next part of the process is to set up our, our communication. I've got another video on how to set up communications that I'm going to put a card to right here. So if you're curious on how to set up the communications for one of these drives, go check out this video. Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, leave those down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel, and we will see you next time.